Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to play the following chord progression in all 12 uh, major keys. So we're going to go from the 1 chord to the flat major 7 chord to the major 4 chord to the minor uh, 2 minor 7 chord to the 1 chord. So I'm going to play through all 12 keys and then I will explain how to go about this. So I'm starting off with uh, first inversion in the right hand and left hand is just playing the root note of each chord. Okay, so to do this, I need to know my C major scale because we are dealing with a flat seven, so a flat major seven um, for our seven chord. Uh, our scale is going to be basically C mixolydian. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, te, do, te, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. So I'm gonna be using these chords um, this is just for the progression if I'm doing this in C major. So basically I'm doing roots of the chords on the bottom. So I'm going from the one chord to the flat seven, which is B flat in our case, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's a major seven chord, so it's gonna be B flat major. So we got our one chord, which is C major, going to our flat major seven, which is B flat major, going to our major four chord, going to our minor two seven chord, and then back to our major chord. Okay, so you might wanna get down the bass notes first. So the one chord, flat seven, four, two, seven, and then back to the one chord. And then I'm gonna add the right hand. So third, fifth, and root. So I'm doubling the root between the hands, going to the flat major seven chord, have the root on the bottom, the fifth, the root, and the third of the B flat major chord, going to the major four chord of C major, which is F major. Right, we have F, doubled F, which is the root of the chord, third and fifth, going to the two minor seven, which is a D minor seven chord. So I get the root, third, fifth, and seventh, one of each of the notes in the chord, going to the one chord. And if you look, you'll see I'm trying to use common tones as much as possible or contrary motion um, whenever I can. So going from the one to the seven chord, because those chords are right next to each other, there's going to be no common tones. So I have to use contrary motion. So the hands are gonna go away from each other to avoid parallel fifths and octaves. And then going to the four chord, I have a common tone F, while the bass is gonna move up and the upper two voices are gonna move down to the F chord. Now going from the four chord to the minor two seven chord, everything in the right hand is gonna stay the same. The only thing that's changing is the bass is moving down to D. So now I get the root third, fifth, and seventh of my two chord. And then going to the back to the one chord, the only common tone that we have is the seventh becomes the root of the one chord. 